the word ecosystem was coined by A. G. Tansley in 1935. It has been defined as an interaction between organisms and the environment or the living community of plants and animals in a given area with the non-living components of the environment such as soil, air and water. Ecosystems occur in space and exist in time. So, it has past, present and future. Ecosystem is the largest functional unit of ecology. It has various sizes such as drop of pond water, a square meter of grassland, a large lake or an ocean. In nature, an ecosystem is an open system with its own sources of receiving and giving. But it can be an open system as well as a closed system depending on the types of communities occupying it. For example, a forest with a dead log. Here the forest is an open system. It provides a distinct food chain with green plants on which herbivores live. Then there may be carnivores which live on herbivores and finally there are decomposers which live on dead plants and animals. But the dead log represents a closed system because it has termites on which anteaters are also dependent. But the day the termites completely eat away the dead log, this particular ecosystem will be finished. Some ecosystems are quite robust and are less affected by human disturbances, for example, an ocean. Others are very fragile and are quickly destroyed by human activities. Mountain ecosystems are extremely fragile because degradation of forest cover leads to severe soil erosion and changes in river courses. Island ecosystems are also easily affected by any human activities leading to the extinction of several unique species of plants and animals. Evergreen forests and coral reefs are examples of species-rich fragile ecosystems which must be protected against a variety of human activities that may lead to their degradation. Rivers and wetland ecosystems can be seriously affected by industrial effluence and changes in the surrounding land use. Khan River of Indore has changed to a muddy nala by industrial effluence. Types of ecosystems There are two types of ecosystem, natural and artificial that is man-made. Artificial systems have cropland, space and aquarium. Under the natural ecosystem, we have two, terrestrial and aquatic. Under terrestrial, we have forest, grasslands and desert. Under the aquatic, we have two more, freshwater and marine. In the marine, we have ocean, sea and deltas. Under the freshwater, we have further two divisions, lotic, which is running water, and lentic, which is stagnant water. In lentic, we have lake, pond and swamp, and in lotic, we have river, spring and stream. Characteristic features of forest ecosystem A forest ecosystem is a type of terrestrial ecosystem. The word forest has been derived from the word forest which means outside or a large natural terrestrial area outside the human habitat occupied by wild plants and animals. In an ideal ecosystem there should be 33% forest 33% wild animals and 33% human beings. But due to increase in population, forest is converted to agricultural land and agricultural land to residential colonies.
industrial centers are also created by cutting forests. This has resulted in degradation of forest. Use of trees as fuel wood and timber also leads to felling of trees and deforestation. When human population was small, forests could supply human needs. But due to increase in population and industrialization, the consumption of forest resources has increased. Short term economic gains have dominated over long term environmental benefits. Forests are reducing day by day. The average forest area in India has reduced drastically from 33% to around 12 percent. This is development at the cost of destruction. Forest has community of plants with trees, shrubs, herbs and climbers. Forest trees show random growth. They do not grow in rows as observed in plantation by man. We should remember that man can plant trees but he cannot grow a forest because forest is an ecosystem with its own producers, consumers and decomposers. It means that a forest is a natural ecosystem. It is pitiable to note that man can destroy a forest but he cannot grow a forest. In a natural forest, Trees grow in communities such as teak terminalia community, Ziziphus acacia community. In man-made plantation, there are no such natural communities. Wild animals are very important part of forest ecosystem which are missing in plantation done by man. Structure of forest ecosystem According to Odom, each ecosystem has following components. Components of ecosystem are abiotic or non-living and biotic or living. Under biotic or living, we have producers, consumers and decomposers. Under abiotic, we have inorganic nutrients, organic compounds and climatic factors. Abiotic components Amount of abiotic components present in an ecosystem at a given time is called standing stage while the amount of biotic components is called standing crop. The amount of biotic components and other abiotic conditions decide the type of forest. The forest on mountains and hills differ from those along river valleys. The amount of rainfall and local temperature which varies with latitude and altitude as well as soil type also decide the type of forest vegetation. Biotic Components The living or biotic components of the forest ecosystem are Producers They include green plants in form of trees, shrubs, herbs and climbers. Trees like teak and sal belong to flowering plants. Deodar and Canada balsam belong to gymnosperm. The common shrubs are hibiscus, tilaceous, acacia, catechu, pandanus, tectorius, grevia asiatica, and carissa spinarum. The common herbs are crinum asiaticum, cassiotora. Cassia occidentalis and grasses like Thimida, Symbopogon, Heteropogon, Sahima and Apluda. Consumers Primary consumers are herbivores like beetles, ants, grasshoppers, rabbit, deer and nilgai. Secondary consumers are carnivores like birds, snakes, lizards, fox, jackal. Tertiary consumers are wolves. Quaternary or topmost consumers are tigers and lions. Decomposers Forest is rich in decomposers like bacteria and fungi. 
The forest floor has large amount of decaying matter such as fallen leaves, dung and dead animals. They are decomposed by filamentous bacteria like actinomycetes, bacteria like Bacillus and Pseudomonas and fungi like Aspergillus, Fusarium and Alternaria. In a forest, the plant and animal species are closely dependent on each other. Together, they form different types of forest communities. Man is also a part of the forest ecosystem and the local people staying very close to the jungles and forests depend directly on the forests for various types of natural resources that act as their life support system. Timber, firewood, fruits, honey, gum, katechu, oil of turpentine are forest products directly used by man. Paper is indirect product obtained from wood pulp. Forest types in India Depending upon the leaves, forests are divided in two types, coniferous forests and broad-leaved forests. Coniferous forests, they grow in Himalayan region and mountain regions where the temperature is very low. The forests have tall, stately trees with needle-like leaves and downward sloping branches so that snow can slip off the branches. They bear cones instead of flowers. They produce seeds but no fruits. That mean their seeds are naked or not enclosed inside the fruit. Due to naked seeds, they are called gymnosperms. The common trees are pines, deodar, juniperus, abies, cryptomeria, cuperaceus and taxus. The common animals of this forest are wild goat and sheep and Himalayan black bear. Some rare animals of coniferous forests are snow leopard, Himalayan brown bear, musk deer and the Himalayan wolf. Broad-leaved forests. The trees have broad leaves. They are of following types. Evergreen forests, deciduous forests, thorn forests, and mangrove forests. Evergreen forests. They grow in high rainfall areas of Western Ghats, Northeastern India, and Andaman and Nicobar Islands. In these areas, the monsoon period is very long. Some places even get two monsoons, as in Southern India. Evergreen does not mean that there is no leaf fall. It only means that all the leaves do not fall at the same time or during the same season, but the fall of leaves is spread over throughout the year gradually. As a result, the trees remain green throughout the year. These type of trees overlap with each other and form a continuous canopy. Due to the density of the forests and the trees, very little sunlight penetrates through the trees down to the forest floor and consequently there is very sparse ground vegetation. The forest is rich in orchids and ferns. The bark of the trees is covered with mosses and lichens. The common trees are maple, oak, jamun, ficus and deptorocarpus. The common animals are leopard, sambar, tree frogs and hornbill. Rare animals are rhino, lion-tailed macaque. Deciduous forest, rainfall is moderate and for a few months. The trees shed their leaves during the winter and hot summer months. In April, they regain their fresh leaves just before monsoon when they show rapid growth in response to rains. Thus, there are two clear periods of rainfall and canopy regrowth. Light can penetrate easily till the forest floor, therefore they show undergrowth of shrubs and herbs. The vegetation shows three stories, herbs, shrubs and trees. Such forests are common in Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, Maharashtra, 
Andhra Pradesh, Mysore, and Chennai. The common plants are teak, terminalia, maduka, anogesis, diospirus, boswellia, and sterculia. Dendrocalamus is common bamboo. While Phoenix sylvestris is common palm. The common climbers are Bahinia vahilae, Argeria speciosa. The common parasites are Loranthus and Cascuta reflexa. The common shrubs are Acacia catechu, Salvadora capiris. The common herbs are Cassia tora, Cassia occidentalis, and grasses like. Andropogon, Themida, and Chrysopogon. The common animals are tiger, cheetal, barking deer, fly catchers, babblers, and hornbills. Deciduous moist forests. These forests occur along coast of Western Ghats, the Rai region of UP and Bihar, Orissa, and Eastern Madhya Pradesh. These areas receive heavy rainfall up to 100 to 200 centimeters. The rainfall is restricted to few months and dry season is long and intense. By April May, most of the trees shed their leaves. The common plants are Teocarpus, Terminalia bilata, Salmelia, Albizia and bamboo in patches. Cane palm is a common climber. These forests are common in Delhi, Punjab, Rajasthan and Western Gujarat. The temperature is high and rainfall is low. The common plants are bamboo, babool, bear, neem and karissa. The common animals are chinkara, black buck, four-horned antelopes, partridge, monitor lizard, some of rare animals are bustard and florican. Mangrove Delta Forest These forests grow along river deltas, especially along the rivers like Krishna, Godavari and Ganges. In Bengal, Sundarban Delta is named of Sundari tree, Hereditaria formis. The common plants are Evicenia, Pandanus, Nipa fruticans, and Sundari tree. This vegetation is halophytic, hence it's called mangrove vegetation. Rhizophora conjugata, Sonoracea apetala, Agisirus and Acanthus also common in this forest. They produce pneumatophores or respiratory roots which grow against gravity, come out of the mud and develop pores for respiration. The seeds germinate on the parent plant, producing small seedlings or baby plants. This phenomena is called vivipary or giving birth to young ones just like human beings. The common animals are crocodiles, sandpipers, plovers, fishes and crustaceans. Rare animal is water monitor lizard. Threats to forest ecosystem. Population growth, urbanization and industrialization are the major threats to forest ecosystem. Forests are cut and forest land is converted to agricultural land. Agricultural land is converted to residential colonies to accommodate growing population. Trees are cut in order to meet our demands for furniture as well as fuel wood. The forests are rapidly shrinking. It is estimated that India's forest cover has decreased from 33 to 11 percent in the last century. Forests are also lost by mining and building dams. As the forest resources are exploited, the canopy is opened up, the ecosystem is degraded and wildlife is seriously threatened. During the construction of dams, government claims of rehabilitation of human beings, restoration of plants, 
either through seeds or by tissue culture, but nobody bothers about wild animals. Thus, several wild animals have become extinct and can never be brought back. Cutting a forest makes survival of tribal people very difficult. Village people do not get timber for making agricultural implements. The insects that live and breed in the forest, such as bees, butterflies and moths, decrease in number. Therefore, pollination decreases and so does the production of agricultural crop and fruit trees. The rain that falls on deforested land flows directly to nearby rivers. Thus, level of underground water decreases. The exposed soil is washed away during the rains. Once the protective forest cover is removed, serious environmental problems crop up, affecting agriculture in such areas. We should use alternate source of energy in place of fuel wood. We should grow more trees than are cut down from forests every year for timber. Afforestation has to be a continuous process so that fuel wood and timber are always available. Growing trees like acacia and anogesis for fuel wood is called energy plantation. The natural forest with its diverse species should be protected by declaring them national parks and sanctuaries where all the plants and animals can be protected. Mm -hmm.